if everybody goes to page one in the document, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the entire page. Now, your job here, I created a bunch of puzzles for you this week that I thought you would really like. We have to use the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But the problem with this, guys, is that the way I wrote down the, the digits, none of the equations work. One minus two is not three. Four divided by five is not six. Seven plus eight is not nine. And three times six is not nine. Your job is to write the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine only once and to have all the equations work. Now, who's going to start? Who is going to start and tell me where to put the numbers? I'm going to write the digits down. And that way, when we use them, I can cross them out. It's a really good way of solving puzzles. So I'm gonna to go to my participant list. Now, of course, you know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for raised hands. Who can raise their hand and try to solve the first equation, and then we can try to solve the whole puzzle? Who's gonna to try to do that? And raise your hand electronically. Push that button. Hmm, this is tough. Yeah. All right. And by the way, Jack, do not worry that you could not print the packet. That is not a requirement. That is not a requirement. Just write this out with a piece of, uh, with, on a piece of paper. Now guys, who can give me the multiplication? Who can give me two numbers that multiply to a third number? Go ahead, Jacob. Six and three. So six times three equals what? Not 18. Yeah. Try it again, Jacob. Wait. Um. And if anybody else wants to try, guys, I know that you can do a digit times a digit times another digit. Okay, Jack. Um, so two times four equals eight. Uh, two times four. Let me try that. Hold on a second. Do you want me to write the two on top or the four on top, Jack? Uh, try the two. Wait, I think I have the subtraction one. Uh, can, can you do a subtraction one where you've got a solution of two use building on Jack's? So Jack, yes. cross out two, four, and eight. Jesse? So three, three minus one. All right, guys, I think I'm loving it. Three minus one is two, and I'm gonna erase three and one who can do the division one? Oh. Jacob, do you have to? Yeah. I think eight, no, eight, not eight. Um, can you come back to me? I will come back to you, absolutely. Now guess what I see, guys? I see the only way would be to have eight divided by two equals four. And did we already use the eight and the two? Yeah. Yes. So okay. that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to reverse Jack's numbers. Jack, yes, please do. We're going to reverse Jack's numbers. Four yes, times two is eight. Oh, nice. Now, can you give me a subtraction with the remaining digits? that will equal four. So I'm looking for two digits that will subtract to four. Who can do that? 
Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Omer? No, nine minus five. Um, Omer? Five minus one. Five minus one definitely works. And let's cross out five and one. And now, how are we going to make two, everybody? Oh. Sam, Sam, learn how to raise your hand electronically, but I am going to call on you now. Go for it. Nine Thank you, Jacob, for uh, for muting that. Sam, go for it. Nine and seven. Well, wait, no. That's I need two nine. numbers that divide to two. That's weird. That are remaining. Olivia. Six and three. Oh. Guess what? And. All we have remaining is seven and nine. Once again, hitting a wall. Group. Is seven plus nine equal to eight? No. Yeah. No. So guess what we're going to do? I'm going to go back. Omer gave us the correct subtraction, but maybe it needed to be a different one. Rafa, give me a different one for the subtraction. Um, it needs to be 9 minus 5 for the subtraction, and for the division, it has to be 6 divided by 3, and, the, and then there's the addition. Um, and then wait. That's one. What's remaining? 7 and 1. Oh, my gosh. Everybody, we did it. We solved the first puzzle. Now, guys, these puzzles are really, really challenging. They're a lot of fun. You could not believe it. By the way, Andrew, and did you have a, a different solution that would work for all all nine numbers? Um, I had um one one thing that we could put in, but we already put it in. Okay. Well, you keep trying it. If you come up with a second solution, I am going to record it. I am going to record it. So please try. Now the next one I'm going to give you guys is this puzzle right here. Go to page five if you printed it and you will see on the very top is a beautiful trapezoid. On the very top is a beautiful trapezoid. And our job is to split up the trapezoid into four stacked shapes. They have to be the same shape, and it has to split it up into quarters. Can anybody give me an idea? And I want to show you one of my ideas that failed, and I, I did these puzzles, and then I failed a thousand times. Watch this, guys. What's wrong with that? It only has three. That only split it up into three. three. And I tried this. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? Five. Five pieces. So somebody's going to need to help me solve this puzzle. Andrew, do you, do you think you have the solution? Um, so what you do is like, um, I'm first I'm going to make it on my part and then I can show you. So I know how to make it into four. Yeah, tell me, tell me what to draw. You have to be very, very descriptive, please. So I'm going to draw on here. So it's here. And Use your words, though, to describe it if you can. So it's like this. You make you make like uh, ah. Two. Now, guys, do you guys agree that this splits it up into four equal pieces? I think Andrew, it definitely splits it up into four. But, but I, not equal. I want bottom one. one's longest. So Drew. I agree with Drew that the one on the bottom 
this is the biggest and this one is the smallest okay so what we need to do um just make sure we've got this okay so we've got that that's good so andrew that was a beautiful idea but it does not work for the the shapes are not are not the same size and they need to be the same size so try something else who is trying something really cool that they want to share anyone how about you zach i but zach the only way it's going to work is if you put your pencil to paper and i'm going to look at the gallery so i can see everybody working right now And Omer, there's no way you can solve this if you're holding your Rubik's Cube. So put down the Rubik's Cube and start pencil to paper. Asher, you as well. Asher's working it. Sam's working it. Ava, I can't see your video. So I don't know if you are. Alexander, you look like you're working it. Jesse, you look like you're working it. Claire, I can't see your video, so I'm not sure if you're working it. Rafa, I can see you working it. All right. I'm going to give you guys one little hint. And then let's see, because this is the way I tried to solve it. I decided to create three. Wait, somebody just raised their hand. Jack? So um, I thought you could put it like um, where the blue line is right now and go parallel with the end line, the, di the slanted end line, and keep doing that. And then I realized that would make the end a triangle, so it doesn't work. Yeah, but guess what? I'm going to use but your idea, Jack. Watch this. You guys watching me use Jack's idea? Yeah. Everybody watch. Hey, that was my idea. Yeah, oh, cool. Now watch this. I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. So what now? Oh, it just won't work. Wait a minute. And then what? What am I going to do here, guys? Oh. Well, I know. Oh. Take, take this corner and then put it up to the corner. Yeah. And guess what? We have a solution. Now, my drawing is not perfect. And if I worked on it a little bit better, I could make it better. But, Jack, that was an amazing, amazing idea. Now, I will tell you that the next puzzle is definitely a little harder. Uh, and I'm going to ask you guys to do that. You're supposed to put this into four equal pieces as well. And it's really, really cool. But I want to go to a different puzzle for just a minute. I want to go to the puzzle on page seven. Can everybody go to the puzzle, please, on page seven? Now, let me explain this puzzle to you. Here we go. Okay. You have to put the letters. A, B, C, D, E, one into each square. But the only letters that are correct right here are C and E. Because C does not come before E, and E does not come after C. 
A and B are consecutive. So you can't have that. C and D are also consecutive. And you're not allowed to have that. So these are failures. And I want you to come up with a success. So who has an idea for where to place A, B, C, D, and E in the squares? So I want you guys to raise your hand electronically because then I can call on you. And make sure that you tried it and tested it. And then you'll raise your hand. And by the way, I think that there are four solutions at least. And oh, and by the way, if you put A and B here and here, and B and A there and there with the same letters, that's considered the same solution. Okay, Jack, what do you have? What? Uh, oh, I'm gonna unmute everybody now. Go ahead, Jack. I'm not raising my hand. Oh, okay. It was raised before it by accident, probably. Um, who else has an idea? Kennedy, raise your hand electronically, but you, you can just tell me your answer. I didn't have an answer. Oh, okay. I thought you had your hand up. I'm trying to... Sorry. Sorry. And Asher, are you trying this one? How about you, Olivia? <laughs> Ava, how about you? I haven't seen you yet today. Love to see and hear from you. Zach, love to see and hear from you. Claire, haven't heard from you or seen or heard from you. Love to do that. And Rafa, can you turn off your virtual because it um it's distra it, it's very distracting. I can't see you. Oh, Claire. Could you please share with us? Um, so you put B in the top square and then E below it. So far, so good. And then A below that. And then you put C and D in the bottom squares. Everybody, big time. Big time solution. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I got now, another one. There's like Omer, a lot of them. Omer, go for it. And, oh, and, Ra and Rafa, was that you? Yeah. Yeah, Rafa, wait for Omer. And Rafa, raise your hand electronically and then I can call on you. Yeah. Omer, go for it. In the top square, put an A. A. Mm -hmm. Then put B. Mm -hmm. Louder, please. D. Like E? D. Oh, D as in D. David. Okay, D as in David. Go for it. What's next there, buddy? I think, um, I and I'm, I'm, my, I'm actually looking for my own solutions. I have to tell you, I could not come up with a solution where A was on top. I could not. Yeah. I could not. Now, Rafa, <laughs> could you give me your idea, please? Okay, so um, it's E on the top. So it's E on the top. Oh, no. I, wait, I found out that my um, solution didn't work, actually. Ah, interesting. How about you, Andrew? Go for it, Andrew. Um, I'm doing um the, to do A on the top. Wow, if you come up with a solution with A on top, I'm gonna be so excited. D, D. And what's next? D. D as in David. And then um put B. B as in boy. Um and then C, E. Now there's only one violation in that 
puzzle. And the only violation is, do you see it, Andrew? So you can't have B and C because they are consecutive letters. So that was a great try. And who's gonna try next? Guys, I'm gonna give you a little push. Put B on top again. Oh, Omer, go for it. Um, and then Drew, you're gonna go next. Not go, Omer. Network, but go down Omer. the top. But uh, Omer, say it again. B. B as in boy. B like David. Ah, D like David. Keep going. Then a little more clearly. A. A as in apple. Yes. Then E. E as in Edward. Then in the bottom two, C and B. Uh, guess what, guys? Totally, totally awesome. So Omer and Claire and Drew, did you come up with a different one, buddy? Um, so an A at the top. I'm going to put an A at the top. Oh, wait. You came up with an A solution? Awesome. Come on. A. Um... A and then C, then um, what's actually, on, kind of forgot the last part. What's on? What's on your piece of paper? What does it say? Actually, um, it's not moving. I kind of forgot to write down. Uh. And it well, why don't you try one? You don't I'm about to lose internet in a, in, a, in a few seconds. Oh, okay. Well, come, yeah. come back to us when you get your internet back. Okay? Jesse, okay, go okay, for okay. it. Go ahead, Jesse. I'm going to do yours now, Jesse. A and then D. No, A and then C. So A, C. A, A, D. Oh, A, D? Well, I said Yeah, that's what C. I said. Jesse, Jesse, are you A as an apple, D as in David? I said A as in apple and C as in cat. Ah, very nice. Keep going. Then E. E, so e as in Edward. Yeah. And then B. B as in boy. And then D. And can anybody see a violation here? E Alexander, Alexander, you have I haven't heard from you yet. Can you see the violation here? Well, oh, actually, you got one, I got one. Alexander, do you see the violation? I, I know one. Uh, a Asher, do you see the violation here? Um, I know no. one starts with an A. All right, guys, come on. Oh yeah. Can E and D be next to each other? Oh no. No, they no. can't. Jesse, that was a great try. Oh man. I know violation. I know one that will actually work. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I want I want a uh, Claire. Go for it. Um, B at the top. B as in boy. Mm-hmm. Then D. Ooh, I'm liking it. Then A. And then C and E on the bottom. And guess what? Claire comes up with her second winner. I and, know one. And Omer, do you have another one, buddy? I have one, though. Uh, Drew, do you have one? I have one that has eight top. You have one that has what? A at the top. Okay, give me the A at the top, please. Go. So it's just gonna be um A up there. Um and D uh, D at the bottom left corner. Oh, D at the bottom left. Yeah. Then 
and B right um, in the middle. You mean here? Yeah. Okay. B, and then E um, at the bottom right. No. Oh, darn, it doesn't work, actually. And, and yeah. you know what I really like about this one? Once you get to this place, you say to yourself, is there any way to put a C here or here? And the no. answer is no. Jack McDonald, go. Um, I know one. So do um, E at the top. E as in Edward? Yes. Um, then, then you put, uh, was it C? As in cat? Yes. A. Uh-oh. We have a problem, Houston. Then D. Yeah, but, the... but we're going to have to put B next to A. Oh. But good, good try. Rafa, what do you have? I think I have a too. Nice try, Jack. That was awesome. D at the top. Go. Uh, say it again. D. D. Go. A. A. Go. E. Oh man, you did it. And then be on the left and stay on the right. And let's just make sure. Uh oh. Isn't that the same as Omer? But guess what? You found it independently, Rafa, and that was awesome. Does anybody else have a different solution? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower all hands, so please raise your hand again if you have a different solution, and then we're going to move on to a different puzzle. Andrew? Um, I just have a question. Yes, sir. Um, why can B and C go next to each other in the bottom? Oh, but, because but, they're not. Oh, that's Andrew. That's a brilliant question because the they're not. Line. They're not connected by a line. <laughs> you see how they're A1. not connected. For the A one, I don't get. But I don't get why you you were not allowed to put like. Which, which one, buddy? Which one? The A one that. Like Drew made. Um, the one that Drew did, there was a, I think there was a B here, and, and the only open space, the only open space was here and here, and you had to put a C. So Andrew, do you understand that C could not go in either of these places? Uh. So there's no way to solve that puzzle. Omer, last one, and then we're moving on. Go. Um, I think it's done with a B. Okay, go, go, go. A B, then an A. Can you, are you allowed to put an A next to a B? No, no way. Okay. So, Omer, great try, but let's move on, guys. And I want, I want to let you guys find the next solution. Now, in this next puzzle, it's a crazy, crazy puzzle. You have to join the A square with the A square. You have to join the B with the B. Okay. And then guess what? You have to join D with D, but you can't cross over. You have to join C and C, but you can't cross over. So guess what? That's not going to work. Who thinks that they can come up with a way of doing this? This is on page eight. Who thinks that they can see a way to solve this one? I actually had a lot of fun making this one. You made this one. Uh, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys think about this. And Andrew, give me your ideas. Oh, 
Um, so, what I think is maybe like, like, I'm gonna film my video and do it. So this is on page eight. So Andrew, are you are you giving me your ideas? Yes. Okay, go for it, buddy. Wait, where's the first page of it? Here. So I'm thinking of like, maybe like you draw like the lines close to each other without them connecting. Maybe you could do that. You mean like, 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 like from, uh, g give me, give me a letter. G give me any letter, A, B, C, or like D. D, D could be like. Like D directly to D? Could be like super close together. Yep, I like it. And then C, and then A. Well, wait a minute, hold on. C would have to go around D, yes? Right, so, and then maybe like, um, and then A. Oh my gosh. Andrew, you did it. Andrew, Andrew, how are you gonna get A and A together and B and B? Um, so, go around. Um, so, and then you go C directly to C, and then B comes around, and then B comes around, like, close, like, it comes, like, like this? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yes. my gosh. Guess what, guys? He did it. Do you now see how we can get A and A together? Yep. You go on your same solution. Oh my gosh. Andrew, you rock, buddy. That's amazing. Now, Omer, did you come up with a different solution? No, I had the same one. Oh man, that is so cool. So guess what I gave you guys? I gave you guys three puzzles like this. This one is a little bit harder. You have to join lines one and two together. You have to join lines three and four. Oops, can't do that. Five and six and seven and eight. Oops, can't do that. So this puzzle is incredibly, incredibly challenging. Can you claim that it's possible? Now, I want to show you my next favorite puzzle. My brain hurts. Yeah, my, my brain is feeling really good right now. In the next puzzle, go to page 12, please. Now, in this puzzle, we have the numbers 1 through 19. We have the numbers 1 through 19. We're only allowed to put one number in each circle. And when you look at it, you know that in a line, all three circles have to add up to the same number. So let's say we're talking about that one. It'll be these three. So I want to ask you the question. What number do you think goes in the middle? Nobody say it out loud. Your job is to look at the numbers one through 19. And if you can solve for the middle number, you will be able to solve this puzzle. So right now, I'm waiting for your hands to go up, but do not say it out loud. And I want you to look at 1 through 19. And I've already got one hand up, but I don't want to give it away yet. Actually, Jack, can you send me a, um, a chat? Andrew, can you send me a chat with your answer? Um, like, I know the answer to what the middle number is going to be and what it is for every single did you one. did you write down all 19 numbers then um so yeah no no don't don't say it out loud yet don't say yeah. it out loud yet just write them down jack you should be doing the same thing 
I can't. Well, you can. Take a piece of paper. Put you a, copy? Yeah, just, just put a little circle in the middle, put a circle on the top, put circles on the side. You can do anything. You guys are mathematicians. Greatest humans on earth. Okay, Claire, let's see. I'm looking at your uh, chats right now. And let's see if I can get this to be a little smaller now. So, yes, um, Jack, uh, it can go across its path, but the three circles have to add up to the same number everywhere. Oh no, the can let letter go across its own path with a different... Um, yeah. Now, Claire and Zach sent me chats. Andrew, you did not send me a chat with yeah, I, your middle I number. Explain how and, and Claire and Zach, I do not agree with your middle number. So try again. And Andrew, send me your middle number. Okay. And I'm going to give you guys about one more minute to think of what the middle number is. And when you're looking at the numbers one through 19, now, now, Andrew, there is no number 20. It's only in the numbers one through 19. Oh. Now, guys, what is the median number between one and 19? What is the number that is exactly in the middle? Ten. Guess what, guys? The answer is 10. So 10 is in the middle. What do you think needs to be above it and below it? What would be a really, really good start? I. Go wait, Jacob. Uh, ben, do you have it? Rafa? Drew? Wait. Omer? I'm, I think I know. Jacob, you keep raising your hand. I keep calling on you, but you have to answer. Uh, five. F but you have to give me two numbers. I need five and what? Uh, I mean, if I put a five here, I need a number down here that makes sense. Five. Well, you can only put the number down once. Um, and Zach, give me, Zach, give me your idea, buddy. Um, I think um, on the top should be one and on the bottom should be nine. Okay. Well, so that's one and nine is 10 plus 10 more is 20. Now, you connected one and nine. Now, does that make sense to leave out all these higher numbers? When you said one, Zach, I was really excited. And I'll tell you why. Because one and 19, everybody, that equals 20 plus 10 equals what? 30. And what's the next two numbers that go together? Two and what? 18. And then what's the oh, next I did group five that goes together? Three and what? 15. And so look at this, guys. We can Four, literally two, just go. Five and 15. Are you ready? We can go cetera, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, teen, 11, teen, just to get just kidding. And when you go across, every group of numbers equals what sum? Tell 30. me, guys, what's the sum? 30. And the answer is 30. Wow, really, really cool. 
Nice work, great thinking. Now, the next puzzle we're gonna do, ooh, I think you're gonna like this one. No, that was exactly what I did on the around, on the round um, circles, but on the like outside circles, but not the center circle. Andrew, that's awesome. Now guys, in this next one, I'm actually gonna, uh, I don't like that, that's too big. That's much better. So I want you guys to look at this one. It's kind of like a clock, but instead of a clock being one through 12, I made it into 16 sections. Now your job is to split the circle into two regions. So the sum of the numbers in each region is the same. So let's say that I split it, uh, let's see, six. What if I split it right here? Do you think that one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus 16 and 15 would equal the sum of the other numbers? Uh Aren't, aren't the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six too small? Yeah. And isn't the red side gonna be way, way bigger? Yeah. So this solution was a failed solution. Can you tell me what would be a real solution and why? Oh, well, I know. And who's the I know it? Oh, Rafa, give me your idea, buddy. So you just um, draw um, a line straight through the middle. Between what two numbers? Between, um, between the, um, I think it's, but. Name, just name the numbers. Like, do you mean 13 and 14, 14 and 15? What do you mean? Um, 12 and 13 to four and five. Now, how can we prove that Rafa is correct? Who has a proof? Can anybody show me a proof for why Rafa is correct? And by the way, he is correct. Rafa, awesome job. Anybody have an idea? Can we look at one in 16? What does that equal? 17. What is 15 plus two? Seventeen. What's 14 plus three? Seventeen. What's 13 plus four? Seventeen. What is 12 plus five? Seventeen. What's 11 plus six? Seventeen. Ten plus seven? Seventeen. So guess what? We have four 17s on the bottom four 17s on top. Who knows how to do 17 times four? Double, double 17. On three, one, two, three, what? Come on, double 17 once, and what do you get? 30, four, double 34, and what do you get? 68. And guess what? 68 on the bottom, 68 on top, and you have a winner. Now, the next puzzle we're not gonna do right now, but you're gonna split this into four regions and the sum of each region will be the same. And by the way, hint, hint, I love the number 17. Don't give it away. Now, the next one is incredibly challenging. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we should not do this one. Oh, no, let's try it. So in this one here, you have to place the numbers 11 to 19 in the grid. 
you can only use the numbers once. This is on page 14. You also have the following rules. Row A, by the way, this is row A, everybody, has all even numbers, like two, four, and six. Row B has all odd numbers, like seven, nine, and five. Of course, you're not allowed to put any of those numbers, but we only are using 11 through 19. The numbers 12 and 16 are in the same column. By the way, this is a column. This is a column. This is a column. 16 is not in the same row as 14. And 11 and 19 are in the same row. So the question I have for you guys is where do we start? And you're going to need to raise your hands electronically. I'll write the numbers down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Oh, and by the way, this row has to add up to 44. This one to 45. Row C to 46. Column A to 44. Column B to 45. And column C to 46. And we may not finish this. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's one rule. There's one rule that I may have left out. And let me see if I can find it. Oh, yes. Let me apologize. The diagonal has to be 54. Oh. So if row A has all even numbers, who can tell me what numbers can go in row A? Come on, raise your hand electronically so I can call on you. I'd love to do that. Zach, what numbers can go, what numbers can go in row A, Zach? Zach, are you muted, buddy? Yeah, you're muted. So Zach, you've got to unmute yourself or I can't hear you. 12, 16, and 18. In, in, in left to right? Um, 12 is in, um, then 16. And 14, I mean, not 14, 18. 18. So we know that 16 cannot be in the same row as 14. That was a really, really good one. Um, Oh, wait a minute, Zach, 12 and 16 are in the same column. Oh. So, oh. Rob, uh, so Omer, what do, you, what do you think? How can you fix what, what Zach started? Zach was perfect on his even numbers. I was doing, I was gonna do well doing that. And, and Andrew, what do, you, what do you have, Andrew? Unmute yourself, buddy. Um, so what I have is just take the 16 and put it under the 12, put the 18 and under the 16. And then that, and then, and then the eight. Wait, wait, you want me to put the 18 under the 16? Yeah, so you get four for the columns. Right, but, but how do I have all even numbers in row A? How do I get all even numbers in row A? Uh, Jesse, what do you think, buddy? Um, I think the first row should be, um, the first one should be on A, for row A, I think. First one is 18. Go for it. 12 and 14. Now, so far, there's no violation there at all. Jesse, do you want to keep going? No. Okay. Can somebody pick up from there? And by the way, 
He is 100% correct. Rafa? Um, my idea was for no A, it was that combination. Yeah, but what, where, where does 16 have to go? Guys, if 16 and 12 are in the same column. Row C. Row C in the middle. Yes. Very good. Where, now, therefore, guys, we've used up all our even numbers. Now let's do the odd numbers. And um, um, I was like doing it for the easy one. And Jesse, do you have it? It could be. Um, the, yeah. um, 19 has to be in the middle. 19 yeah. is in the middle. Why do you say that? Because 12, 19, and 16 total up. Oh, no, it's 17. Yeah. Oh. It's 17. The middle has to be 17. Come on, guys. Start using your addition. Eleven and nineteen are in the same mm -hmm. row, guys. Yeah. So where do they have to go? Um, right. I think eleven has to be in the bottom. Guys, what does eleven plus nineteen equal? Say it out loud. Thirty. Thirty. And what is thirty plus sixteen? Thirty plus sixteen is forty-six. Forty-six. Oh. So doesn't don't they have to go in the bottom? Oh yeah. Yeah. So eleven and nineteen. And now, come on, all we've got left is 13 and 15, Rafa, or Kennedy, where do they go? Go, Kennedy. Go, um, Kennedy. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Um, uh, would it be 23 because, or no? We, we, we need 15 and 13. Oh, 15. 15 goes in, um, 15 goes in between 18 and 11. And 13? 13. Guess what, guys? You just solved one of the coolest puzzles ever. Now, I will tell you something. Every one of these puzzles, this one I love. This one, you have to take the prime numbers, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and 23, mm -hmm. and put them in here. So all the columns, diagonals, add up to the same prime number. Really, really cool. This next one, you can put any number you want to make these sums work. These two were very easy compared to these two. The bottom two were unbelievably difficult. So be careful. Now, this one here was also a lot of fun. You also know that Mr. Kramer always provides answers, but please do not look at those. Please do not look at those as you're working it. Now, I will see you on July 8th at 430 which is 167 hours from now Actually, if you can solve all of these puzzles I would be so so excited and oh by the way why not come up with your own and by the way Asher came up with two amazing puzzles of his own using the matchsticks last week they were brilliant and guess what one of them i could not solve asher had to help me solve the puzzle so if you guys can come up with puzzles that even stump mr kramer then you know that you are a rocking mathematician all right everybody say goodbye to your friends mr. Kramer, i'll see you on the boat next time Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. And, and I'll see you. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Great job.